Okay, I wanted to make a video talking about kombucha tea. Uh, a lot of people probably already know about kombucha. Uh, for the most part, you can go in the grocery store um, or the health store and find some cold kombucha. kombucha. Um, I finally got me a SCOBY. I hadn't made it in a long time, and I finally got me one. And I finally decided to go ahead and start making it because I've always had an enjoyment out of making it. And I love the taste of it. Or even if it's just not the taste, it's about what it does for you. The, the energy that it gives you or it gets your appetite where it needs to be. Um, if you need to get your appetite up, it'll give you a good appetite. If you need to sustain your appetite it can do that also it kind of just balances itself out and then it also does other f wonderful things for the body and maybe one day um, I'll make a video explaining some of the things that I've experiences that I've had from drinking it so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and explain real quick that I took it to another step something that I hadn't done in the past with the kombucha. Two things, really. Okay, this right here is what they call June tea, kombucha tea. They call it like the champagne of kombucha. It's not made um, with your regular sugars, which I use white sugar. I learned the hard way not to use um, the raw sugars or the brown sugars or whatever. So anyway, I just now started learning how to make the June tea. And this is the June tea, and this is a June tea. So I've also learned to flavor my tea, which I hadn't done that before when I made it um, a while back. So when I say that the flavor, when you flavor it yourself, it makes so much difference. This is a peach. This one, um, yeah, that was the peach. And um, when I say that peach, oh my goodness, it tastes so good. And the first thing that I started flavoring it with is the mixed berry. And I love it also. And hibiscus. And this has, the peach has hibiscus in it also. So this one has the peach flavoring. And as you can see, I have it down in there. So the thing about it is, oh my gosh, it makes the flavor just pop. And so I only have one of these left and I don't remember where I got it from because I go so many different stores or whatnot. So I've been searching for it, but while I have been searching for it, I've been finding other tea flavors, which is a good thing. So anyway, let me show this a little bit. This is the SCOBY and they also make SCOBYs when you make the actual tea and when you ferment it. So that's one that um, has a new SCOBY forming right there at the top. So anyway, I've gotten, I've, I'm, I'm probably needing to slow down on drinking the kombucha. So, but I just wanted to make a quick video about that. And, and I'll probably make some more um, videos in the future. I started, um, this is plastic and this is glass, but for right now, my larger amounts, I've only had, I've only got a, a few glass, con glass jars until I collect some more. I'm going to do it in the plastic. And I know that some people will be like, oh, okay, you need to, the plastic pools, you know, you mess it up with the plastic or whatever. But when I first started making it, I didn't have any problems with it. Um, plus the container does say BPA uh, free. So, but anyway, I will move to making all of them in glass containers. But until then, I, I'm going to do it this way. Um, my smaller jars is what the ones that I really have the most, um, glass jars. But anyway, I just wanted to make a video. And like I said, oh, um, and I also recently got me some blueberries and I'll be doing some blueberry uh, flavored kombucha soon and I'll probably post that too. Um, I'm probably going to get me some pineapples to do that and I also want to get some mango, well mango too, but my main thing is uh, some passion fruit. 
I'm going to find me some passion fruit um, drink or some actual passion fruit, and I'm going to do it with those two. So, all right. <laughs>